Hi, this is Scott Sackett here. Um, I recently bought a Asus Vivio Tab Note 8, and I thought I would do a little video of me drawing on it. Um, I know that I've seen a few videos of people drawing on them uh, online, and so I thought I would put one on there um, just to kind of show how it works a little bit and talk about some of the features. I've had it for a couple months now, and I really like it. It's fairly small. Um, it, in comparison size, it's well, it's it's about the size of a uh, like a trade paperback book or maybe like a comic book or something. Um, and so drawing on it, I have not done anything professional on it, but it's really good for doing sketches and um, doing layouts for some of my comic books. Um, I currently have uh, Manga Studio Five and um, Sketchbook Pro Seven loaded on it. Um, I've used Manga Studio. I haven't had Sketchbook very long, but I, I've used um, Manga Studio on it quite a bit. And um, and it works pretty good. It, it really does. Um, like I said, you're limited. Um, if you're going to buy one of these, I've heard several people have talked about them and then said, well, um, it doesn't have a USB port. What I did is I bought one of these, which this is a um, it's a it's, it's a Samsung. Let me turn it over so you can read it. It's a Samsung adapter, and what it has, it has a I don't know if that's a micro or a mini, but it has a USB adapter or on one side, and then a USB a, a micro male and a USB female on the other side. And it, I got this for like twenty bucks at Best Buy. I I looked for an adapter for a long time. And I talked to somebody at Best Buy. I asked somebody at Best Buy, and somebody goes, "Oh, I think there's one in the uh, phone department." And so apparently, this is fairly common on the Samsung phones. Um, this allows me to plug it. I can plug it in the in the port here at the top, and it gives me all the functionality of a USB port on there. Um, several people have talked about how you load software on this, um, not without using the, an adapter. What I did is I bought the adapter and then I bought a, a cheap disk drive. It's a cheap external disk drive, DVD drive, and I used that to load my programs. Um, I have another tablet, and so I figured a disk drive would be handy for me to have, or an external disk drive would, and uh, so I didn't I didn't feel too bad about spending. That was like twenty bucks. So the adapter was twenty, the disk drive was twenty. I think I paid for this. I I want to say I got it for like about three hundred and thirty bucks. Also, if you're going to buy one of these, I would suggest getting another pen. Uh, this is mine. Again, this is a Samsung pen, for, a pen for a Samsung tablet. I have a nicer one for my other tablet, but I went with this one because this has an eraser on the end. Um, if you've used Manga Studio, and, I, and I'll show a little bit of that, you'll know what I mean. I, because I don't use a Samsung tablet, I blacked out the Samsung. You can kind of see it there with a the Sharpie. Also, because I have to... I tend to have a lot of pins on me. I took a white paint pen and put two stripes at the top so I can see at a glance which of my pins are actually my stylus. Um, just a couple things I did to make it work better. Also, I, I bought a case for it um, just to kind of protect it in my bag. Um, anyway, I'm going to do, do a little bit of drawing on it so you can kind of see, and I'll kind of talk about it. Oh, hang on just a second. No, let's see. Let me cancel that. It, one thing I'm not crazy about, it always seems to ask me about this web storage thing. Um, I haven't decided whether I want to set it up. I use Dropbox, um, but it keeps asking me, which is no big deal. Um, I have uh, Skyped on this, and Skype works pretty good. One thing I did is I set up a, because I know that I'm drawing a small size, just to sketch, I set up a, um, a a workspace in Manga Studio that's it's eight and a half by five and a half, and there's not a border on it. And this is just for me drawing. This is something that I would use if I was um, taking this on the road or whatever and trying to trying to sketch. Anyway, um, the I like the I like the tablet. One of the th also another thing that I had to do was I had to go in and. Uh, monkey with some of the settings on my tools. You'll see um, Just to get them to work a little bit better in Manga Studio. One thing I did was I um, I, I kind of went in and just got them to work better on the tablet. The tablet is a little finicky. Let me erase that um, This is I made a 
a special pencil. I've got a, a set of tools. I originally tried to copy over just my desktop tools, but that didn't work very good um, because it's just a different deal. And and, and um, so I had to kind of go in and adjust. A lot of it was with the pressure sensitivity. Um, it just didn't seem to translate real well from one to the other. I'm just going to do a quick little sketch and kind of see what it's like to work on it. And you can tell um, there's not a lot of lag occasionally a little hang but for the most part it's it's pretty solid i i haven't i've read about guys online or i've heard about guys online that have loaded photoshop on here and i've i've considered doing that but i think i'm i think i need to check and see how much disk space i have this is a 64 gig version there's a 32 gig version too but the price difference is fairly nominal and so i figured i would um spend the extra money and double my storage space. I might, my experience has been on these tablets. Uh, storage pay, space is usually at a premium, and so I figured I would um, maximize that from the start price. Because you know, a deal like this, once you get it, you can't go in and add another hard drive. So it, it doesn't make sense to, to chintz on it. Um, I really like drawing this. I like sketching with it. And, of course, if you use Manga Studio, you know the you know the manga studio has a lot of tools um it's geared towards drawing comics but it also has some nice features let's see i'll try and do something i'll do something um i'll create a perspective layer if you've never worked with manga studio this won't mean a whole lot to you but you can create a perspective layer and i've gone i don't know if you can see this i'm drawing and holding the camera I've gone in and kind of arranged some shortcuts to my tools at the top and kind of trying to maximize my work area a little bit. And I'm still fine tuning it. Um, let's see. Okay, we're, uh, we're good. Okay, um, so I'll come in here and draw some perspectives so you can kind of see how it goes. Oops, probably I didn't. We're not good. Oh, okay. Um, one of the things about this tablet is you'll notice, I don't know if you can see this, when, sometimes when you go over to the edge, the, um, the tracking in real good or the, or the, and so, oops, so you, so you tend to work in the center a little bit. Um, it's something you kind of adapt to. It's, and like I said, it's not, it's not perfect. I wouldn't want to draw a comic book on this thing, but I've drawn, um, I've drawn some some thumbnails and stuff, and it, it seemed to work out pretty good. And you can the nice thing, see, you can see how the perspective works. If you're not familiar with Manga Studio, um, put some backgrounds in there. Nice thing is, it, you know, it, it supports the uh, the uh, gestures, so you can come in here. Um, some people have talked about having trouble um, setting up their their setting up the the uh, pressure sensitivity and, and getting it to read the tablet I had too much problem I don't think the pressure sensitivity is as good as like a bigger tablet um, but I think it works pretty good I mean for what it is um, like I said I'm I'm in it uh, you know a few hundred bucks and it's something that you can you can definitely work in it um, like I said, I, I don't know if I'd want to see a project like this through to completion, but um, you can come in and work in it at a smaller size. Oops, sorry if I got off the screen. Um, let's see. I'll try a little. And so you can see when you get the far stuff, um, let's see, I'll do a little painting. The, one of the, the nice things about Manga Studio is it's it's a fairly uh, lightweight program, and so um, it doesn't it's it's not a big drag on the resources, which is good because we are talking about a, a device that's two um, has two gig of RAM, so I mean it's not a it's not a, a speed demon or whatever, but it seems to be pretty good in Manga Studio. And you know a lot of times on this kind of deal where you'll it I've noticed is is when you're painting. You know, and having to do that mathematics to do this paint, where the where the so you can see right there, it, it kind of skipped down on me a little bit. But see, it wasn't that bad. It it recovered pretty quickly. Um, and I don't think the um, I don't think where I put the pin down is exactly where it's marking, 
but I've found if you if you focus on the mark and not so much on the pen, it seems to work pretty good. I use a um, an Intuos um, normally, and so I'm kind of used to not really looking at where my pen is, but more where my I just kind of focus on where the line is. That seems to help quite a bit on that. Um, I know a lot of people have said, well, I, you know, I, I try to work digitally, but I can't get used to working digitally. And, and my in my experience. If you just kind of watch the line, um, if you've taken drawing classes and you've had to do blind contour drawings, it kind of reminds me of that. Just kind of, you don't, you don't think about, you know, where your hand is. You just think about where the mark is going and focus on making that mark move the right direction. I don't know. Anyway, that's, that's some of that. Um, let me close this real quick. I won't save that. Um, and, and like I said, this Manga Studio, I had Dropbox loaded. Um, I have Skype loaded on it. Um, all this seems to work, be work pretty good. Um, Sketchbook works pretty good. It surfs the web quick. Um, all in all, I'm real happy with it. Um, like I said, it's got a spot here. I'll pull this out so, so you can see this. It, this is the, the pin that came with it. It's actually fairly usable. It's small. I don't know if you can see. I'll compare it to the regular one, to the, the, one, the aftermarket one. See, it's... it's it's thinner. It's not as comfortable to draw with, and so I bought the the upgraded one. This the 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 aftermarket one or the Samsung one I bought was only about twenty bucks. So you know I'm in it for three twenty for the thing and you know twenty for the adapter, twenty for the the uh, disc drive, twenty for the pin. I'm about four hundred bucks, and then you know software maybe another 50 or 60 for software. So I'm still under 500 bucks on the deal. Um, all in all, not a bad little package. Oh, I forgot, I bought, I bought a, a case for it. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, um, all in all, not a bad little package. A nice um, device to work with. Like I said, it won't replace, if you've got a, a, a desktop, it won't, it won't replace it, but the nice thing is battery life seems to be fairly long. Um, it's, it's good for when you travel. If you just want something to sketch on or whatever, um, it's, it's kind of nice. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, you can email me. Um, anyway, if you're thinking about getting one of these and, and you can swing the money and it's in your budget and you're looking for something cool to mess around with, I highly recommend it. Anyway, again, this is Scott Sackett and thank you very much.